guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda, if you are new here and you don't already know, and today's video is going to be a tutorial and review of the Jaclyn Hill palette, Jaclyn Hill X Morphe palette. Um, I'm absolutely loving the way this look turned out, so if you would like to see how to get this look, then keep on watching. I know I am late to the game. There are a few reasons for that. But the number one primary reason is that my eyeshadow palette collection is insane. And this is a big palette. It's big. And my storage is like so limited. But I just couldn't go another day without getting the palette. Testing it out for you guys. Um, a lot of my friends that watch still wanted to see my take on the palette as well as the tutorial. So... That's what we're going to do today, and I'm pretty stoked about it. My eyes are burning red because I just removed the eye makeup that I had on <clears throat> so that I could record this video. So, without further ado, we're going to go ahead and jump right in. This is what the palette looks like. It has a lot of really, really, really pretty colors. I'm so stoked to dive in and... Do an eyeshadow look today um anyway i'm super excited about it i love morphe anyway so and these colors they speak to me you know what i'm saying especially especially like this little section right here i mean this this i, I don't even know what kind of a look i'm gonna do today i'm digging this shade um you know, uh, the reason why I don't believe in swatching eyeshadow is because to me, a, a good swatch does not indicate a good eyeshadow. And I've said this before, but I'll say it again. A, a color can swatch amazing, but that does not tell you how it's going to play out on the eyes. Does it blend well? That's <coughs> I'm sorry, I'm all choked up about it. Does it blend well? That's what I want to know. How does it blend? How does it look? What is the pigment like? Is there fallout? Is the fallout intense? I don't mind a little bit of fallout. Um, intense subculture fallout? I do mind that because that's just, I mean, you're going to burn through your shadows really, really quickly. So, we're going to find out all about that today and we're just going to go ahead and do a look with this. Okay, I'm wanting to do something really, really fun. So, I'm going to go in with this shade right here first. And I have no idea what this is called. The names are on the back of this palette. But I don't know how they coordinate. <laughs> so, oh, we're going to go in with this color. And I don't know what it's called. I'm going to use it as a transition stretch. I'm going to stop talking and I'm just going to do it. This big fluffy brush is what I'm going to use. And I have a handy dandy mirror today. I'm not doing this no mirror makeup thing again. It's just too hard. Okay, so we've got some pretty decent pigment. It is blending super, super easily. And this shade is really, really pretty. Three for three. I really like it, this shade. Just gonna build that up a little bit more in the crease and above the crease, taking it above because I'm using it as a transition shade. That is really a lot harder to say than you would think it is. I'm just going to throw that out there. Because I know I muff it up all the time. But I'm just saying. Ooh, that's pretty. I really like it. Okay, next I'm going to go in with this little flat. It's like a flat brush, but it's thicker. I'm going to use this in the crease with... Let's see. I think I'm going to do this shade right here. It's speaking to me, y'all. Saying, Amanda, use me, use me. Just tap off the excess and go in. Now, the further back you hold your brush, the more blended the shadow is. The closer you hold your brush, the less blended it is. Just a little tip for you. And I am trying to blend this out as I go. These colors, okay, this pigment, oh my gosh. I'm loving it. I'm loving the colors that I've used so far. Super pigmented. Very, very pretty. And so easy to blend. 
everything I love in an eyeshadow, seriously. And honestly, this is not even a blending brush. This is just, usually I just use it for application, but it's just blending so easy. Oh, I'm loving it. That looks so pretty. You see how easily it blended? Okay, now I'm gonna go back in with the first brush that we used with that first shade that we used and just blend this out just a tad bit more. Um, so far though, these shadows are amazing. I'm not gonna lie, I'm, right now, at this moment, I'm super happy that I got the palette because, geez, these are good. They're not even slightly patchy, and these are some kind of hard colors that usually can be a little bit patchy, so, ah, I'm so stoked. Okay, so I'm wanting to go in with a really fun shade, and I'm thinking this one right here. Super buttery. I, 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 I want to do it. I'm sorry I'm jarring you guys around. Um, let me find a brush. I'm just going to go in with a flat synthetic brush for this and just put it all over the lid. Oh my gosh. I need a synonym for pretty, but that is so pretty. Oh my gosh. Intensely pigmented, not at all patchy, beautiful shadow. Oh my gosh, I'm loving it. I'm gonna take that up just a little bit higher in the crease too. Just ever so slightly. Y'all, I die, that is so, whatever another word for pretty. <laughs> I'm going to use the brush that we had with like the brick shade and go back into that now and just kind of blend that out at the edges so we don't have a harsh line. This palette makes eyeshadow fun. You know, when colors are easy to work with, they actually look like what they're supposed to or what they do in the pan and they blend this easily, it makes it fun. I love this. I am absolutely loving this look. Okay, I will say that these shadows do have a little bit of fallout, but it's nothing intense, and I don't mind it because the color payoff is so good. Um, I do think I need to go back in with a little more of the brick shade on this eye just to kind of even things out. And I don't even want to use a shimmer in this palette because I'm loving the way this matte looks. I'm loving the way this looks right now just like it is. So, maybe I'll do some more tutorials and dive into the shimmers. But for today, for right now, just, I'm loving this. I'm absolutely loving it. This color combo is giving me life, y'all. Ah, oh, I love it so much. Okay, so for the lower lash line, I think we'll first go in. I'm going to just use this little bitty tiny brush. Ooh, I've got this everywhere. I'm going to go in with the teal color and put that closest to the lash line. Like super, super close. Oh, yes. I'm digging it, I'm digging it, I'm digging it. And then with the same brush, I'm gonna go into the brick shade and just kind of go over top of that. Just a little slightly further down to deepen it up and match the eyelid. This palette, oh my gosh, I'm so glad I decided to get it. I mean, it's not travel friendly at all, but who cares? Ah, oh, so pretty. I don't even care if it's not easy to store. 
I'm over caring about that. Now I'm gonna go back into that last shade we used, that yellow poop color. I don't know, baby poop color. And just kind of blend out a little bit more to smoke this out. And those kind of, I mean, it kind of blends away into this look anyways. Ooh, I love it. I'm thinking this is going to, I'm sorry, that clap was probably really loud. I'm thinking, though, that this is going to be my Valentine's date night look because, oh, my God, I love it. Let me find an eyeliner. Okay, so I'm going to go in with the NYX eyeliner, slide on, glide on. Oh, no, it's not. It's not. It's a retractable eyeliner in MPE 18 Gypsy Blue, which actually looks like it's like a blue-green color, just FYI. And I'm just going to put that on the waterline. Ugh. If y'all have not tried these liners yet, you really don't know what you're missing out on. They are so good. And I have watery eyes, so anyway. But they are so good. Oh, my gosh. Ah, I'm loving it. Okay. So, that's all I'm going to do for the eyes, y'all. I'm going to go ahead and put the rest, fix the rest of my face makeup, put some mascara on, and I'll be back to show you the final look. Okay. I applied some concealer to, you know fix up my face but I got so excited about this look that I didn't even do an inner corner or a brow bone highlight so we're gonna do that real quick before I uh, um, add mascara this is my favorite brush this is by Luxie it's the Luxie 207T brush this is my favorite for inner corner highlight I swear it fits right there it's just I love it so we are gonna go into one of the shimmer shades because I don't see a matte shade that could be used for that in this palette we'll go into this first little shade right here, maybe mix it in with this shade and pop that on the inner corner. Ooh, that's pretty. That is pretty. I would like if there was, oh, that is, that's pretty. Um, I would like it if there was a matte brow bone shade because when I do an all matte looks, I don't really always like to go in with shimmer on the brow bone, but I'm going to get right on past that. This retails for $38. I swear this is worth every single penny. This eyeshadow palette rocks. I really, really am digging it. Okay, so now that I've done that, I'm going to have to go back and blend a little more over here. I went down too far. This happens to me so often where I accidentally like blend out my original transition shade. I didn't put any more product on the brush. This is just a little quick tip just to go back in with the brush you were using originally and voila. Okay, now I'm gonna put some mascara on and I'll be right back. Okay guys, so this is the completed eye look. I don't know about y'all, but I'm loving it. Uh, this is actually one of my favorite eye looks that I've worn in a really long time. So, overall, I have to say this palette is amazing. You get so many shadows for $38, and they are great quality. They blend well. They're very, very pigmented, and there is some fallout, but I would say it's minimal. Like, if you have any of the Urban Decay Naked palettes, there's less fallout with these than there are with those shadows. So, to me, not a big deal. A lot of times, I do my eyeshadow first anyway, so it really doesn't, that does not bother me. It's just not a thing that, that bothers me unless it's super intense, and it's not. So, highly, highly recommend this palette. Oh, my gosh. I'm in love. Um, if you want to see more tutorials, tutorials with this palette then leave a comment below and let me know and I will be happy to do them because obviously I'm gonna be testing this out a lot more because I I'm in love I'm in love with this I love the way that this look turned out so um, if you like this video please give it a thumbs up don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already down below and I'll see you in my next video